As of today, I am very happy to say that The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is officially out for everyone who has an Australian eShop account. So yeah, I don't have the game yet. Let me just tell you, the effort that it has taken to avoid spoilers about this game is phenomenal. It is massive. For those of you who do not know, the game has been out. It came out three weeks ago for leakers, and every single leaker has been trying to spread spoilers about the game for, I think, like two weeks? Fact check me on that. Future me, future me, please fact check me on that. And on top of that, the game already came out in Australia, and people have already started streaming it. So I really need to get it today. So I know I have not addressed the, uh, the elephant in the room, but the truth is, is that later tonight, I will be going to the midnight release of Tears of the Kingdom. But first, I, uh, I gotta, I gotta go to a band concert. I know, I, I look ridiculous. Now, I know it looks like I'm going to go see the Mario movie again, but I assure you that I'm not going to go see the Mario movie again. Alright, so, um, hello. I swear that these suits are purely a coincidence. I swear, I know we wore them to be funny at the Mario movie. I swear it's literally a coincidence right now. So I actually got out um, a lot quicker than I actually thought I was going to be. So we brought some lawn chairs. So we're actually gonna camp outside the GameStop in the suits. <laughs> I know, I know, it, it, it's really cringy. I know, I don't, I don't wanna do it either. <laughs> I don't want to do it either, but I kind of have to. So, I'll see you there. We just got to the GameStop. It's absolutely packed. Are we 30 minutes early? What time? An hour early. We're an hour early. Yes. There's packed in there. They said that there would be a line. There is no line. It's just a crowd in there. How do they even know who to give it to first? Oh my. And we're, we're in the suits. <laughs> we're in the suits. <laughs> I feel so humiliated. <laughs> So these two things were included. It is a arm sleeve, which I assume makes your arm look like that. <laughs> I don't know. And then the cooler thing is probably this piece, uh, this wooden plaque. I think this is probably the cooler of the things. And these were given for free. And then while I was there, I picked up the Link Amiibo. And of course, the game. The game is phenomenal, but I don't really need to tell you that, do I? The reviews speak for themselves, and s reviews have been through the roof. And why shouldn't they be? This game builds on the foundation of Breath of the Wild and is like the Majora's Mask to Ocarina of Time. It keeps intact everything that the original game had and improves on it immensely. The game starts off as you're sneaking through a little cavern, but what I don't think enough people are talking about is that while you're walking around, Princess Zelda is literally right there, walking next to you as an NPC, someone who you very rarely even saw in the last game. So then you guys go deeper down, 
Awaken Mr. Drybones, and Hyrule is lifted into the sky, separating you from Princess Zelda. And this is what and about the game being too similar to the Breath of the Wild. Because when this dude said, shrines are the key, or, the shrines. Yes, yes, I'm sure sure they are the key. or some garbage, I lost a little part of my soul, my soul crushed in half, remembering how much I hated shrines. But luckily my worries were put to rest as soon as I saw the game's amazing crafting mechanics. So, right when I got the chance, I tried my best to push these crafting mechanics to their limit. So, while the game wanted me to make a boat, I instead wanted to commit deforestation and make an entire bridge to stretch across the gap. But unfortunately, pretty quickly, I found out how many logs were too many logs. So instead, I made a really long boat. A really slow, long boat. However, never in my life will I forget my one true love, the Triple Decker Minecart. Make that a Double Decker. <laughs> but, there's cargo. Oh, what's this? This little guy wants to get across the gap? Oh, no worries. Just put him in the, uh, in the minecart. Yeah. Sticky glue works. And this is where my humble little minecart mega evolved into its final form. Mega minecart. was the saddest thing in my entire life. Now, if you were even considering buying this game, I would recommend it immensely. The amount of creativity and effort that has been poured into it is very self-evident. But if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, make sure to also join the Discord, and tune in for our next episodes.